here. What's happening, raindrops? It's rainy days. As you can see by the title, I'm gonna have a very special guest with me. Say hi, Raja. Say hi, Raja. Okay, all right. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm trying to, Mama's trying to vlog. Okay. But, anyways, this is my baby boy, and he is about to be six years old. And we're gonna be playing outside today, but more so fun for you guys who tune into this video. I'm gonna be showing you how to train. Sit down. Good boy. I'm gonna be showing you how to train your dog just like this, and so he's calm and docile, he or she, and you'll be able to have fun with him as well. All right, okay, I don't know. Aw, he's a baby. <laughs> a lot of quick, easy, fun tips to play with your dog outside, but also be well behaved. Don't be concerned about him running away. Don't be concerned about him, you know, getting into stuff, digging holes, craziness that a lot of dog owners I know are concerned about. So today we'll be doing like a lot of fun stuff, having a lot of fun running around, but also working and working on those commands and teaching him, you know, how to still be obedient. <laughs> I've had Raja since he was eight weeks old and um, he flew here on a plane as a pup. You guys might have seen his breed um, in the military. They're working dogs. Um, the Army and the Air Force actually uses his breed as well as um, agencies. Yeah, this guy is definitely a working breed. And right now he's being a baby. <laughs> you ready to go shy, Baba? You ready to go shy? Oh. Oh, I know. The kisses. The kisses. Say hi. Say hi to the people. Say hi, raindrops. <laughs> so, anyways, stay tuned, you guys, and enjoy the rest of this video. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye. Say bye, Raja. <laughs> hi, everyone. Rainy Day is here, and as you saw by the intro, this video is going to be about my puppy. <laughs> Not so much a puppy anymore. He's actually going to be six years old in July. So next month on the 20th. And he is a Belgian Malinois. He's the best dog anyone could ever ask for, quite honestly. He's amazing. <laughs> He's super excited to go outside. He's going to wait. <laughs> He's giving me that look. He's already waiting for his ball and his rope. And he'll usually take both of them in his mouth and run into the patio door. These are his two outside toys. He knows that outside toys cannot be in the house unless you're going to wait by the patio door. Same thing with indoor toys. You cannot take them outside. And um, yeah, we taught him this pretty early on. And he caught on, I'd say, pretty quickly, to be honest with you. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> now he should go to the patio door. Yep, passes the indoor toys and goes right to the patio door. Um, he usually waits impatiently or patiently sometimes, depending on his mood, <laughs> for me to let him outside. Whoa, slow down there, buddy. There's still a screen door. <laughs> let me get that for you. And here we go. He's like, freedom! <laughs> Yep, we have a lot of room in the backyard for him to run around. He loves it out here, especially when the weather's beautiful. He could spend hours outside. This dog has an incredible amount of energy. Yep, and there he goes, under the shady tree, his favorite spot in the yard, the shady tree. And yeah, he's just chilling with his ball. I usually let him just max and relax for a couple of minutes before I start running him around. Oh, and it looks like he's ready to go. Um, so the first thing we'll probably be doing is, okay, and he's taking a potty break. Stay tuned. Hey guys, so the treats that I'll be using today are rotisserie chicken flavored. They have, as you can see, wholesome ingredients. No cornmeal, because cornmeal makes your dog crazy and hyper and hard to train. Also, I usually take out two and then I usually split them in half and making four treats instead of just two. And yeah, it allows you to, you know, kind of get more bang for your buck and also, they last longer that way. Now, if your dog is at a different place in the yard than you, you want to call him over by his name and say, here, hold up the treat so he knows. Say, drop, whatever it is, usually it's a toy. If you're in the yard, it should be right in front of you. If he's still far away from you, he should avoid the toys as he's coming forward. Call his name again and say, here. 
very good. He should sit right in front of you and you reward him immediately. Saying good boy Raja or whatever his name is and giving him a treat. Next your dog should be comfortable with also in the down position and he should bring the toys forward and then he should go on all fours following the down command with his name. Then if you want him to come forward and use the hear word, use the hear command following his name, leaving the toys behind, and he should sit directly in front of you. He shouldn't move, he shouldn't He shouldn't um, walk away from you, he should sit right in front of you. Then you reward him. Next is fetch, something I think everyone wants their dog to learn. It's gonna be tricky at first, but it takes practice. He's gonna drop the toy in front of you, you're gonna say his name, and then he's gonna leave the toys with you. He's free to run off as long as the toys are with you. You're gonna kick or throw it as far as you can, and then you're going to call his name using the hair command that we learned earlier, by showing him the treat. He should drop the toys in front of you and then he should stop playing with them and then he should sit. After that, using the sit command, you're going to reward him immediately if he doesn't play with the toys. And then give him a good, good boy pat on the back. Let's say your dog is in close proximity of you when you wanna throw the ball to him. We're gonna teach him the away command. You're gonna grab the ball. He's gonna maybe run away a little bit, but if you want him to back up more, you're gonna shoo him away with your hand using motions and then say away in the dog's name. So away, Raja. Then he's gonna get ready on uh, <laughs> his down stance and you're gonna throw or kick the ball on three. And then he's gonna, whatever that was, a catch, I guess. <laughs> um, and then he's gonna bring it to you, but he should still drop the toys in front of you once he's got a grip on them. Oh, come on. And then he should sit after he drops the toys in front of him and then you're gonna reward him with a pat or a treat or both. Next is playtime. <laughs> yes, Raja loves his tug of war. He loves his crazy rope and he could pull on this thing all day as you can imagine. My dog is 72 pounds and very muscular and he's such a working dog and he absolutely loves beating me like he does every time in tug of war. <laughs> So he could do this really all day, you guys. It's nice, the sun is shining. Sometimes I'll just do this with him for a couple of minutes. I'll throw the ball around again, play fetch, and just kind of let him be him. Expel all his energy and get it out. I try to take him outside or my sister or somebody tries to take him outside as often as possible. Let him run around a bit and just be a dog. It's kind of hot out today though, so he was a little bit tired as you can see here. <laughs> The next command is going to be shake. He's going to tell him, you're going to tell him to sit up and then he's going to automatically be pawing at your hand because he sees the treat. The trick is to say shake and his name following. If he paws it at any other time without you saying the command, you do not reward him with that treat. He's going to try to move, try to paw it again, there he goes, but you're not supposed to give it to him. Only give it to him when he, you say the command shake. Shake. Yay! Good boy! This is when you reward him. Next, we're gonna learn how to wrap up playtime when we're going inside. We're gonna use the hair command that we learned originally. When your dog learns that you're going inside or towards the house, he may run back like my dog just did. <laughs> but that's quite all right. You're gonna call him again using your treat and your hair command, and you're going to keep walking towards the house and not stopping until he follows you. Then, he's gonna wait by the door until you let him in and we're gonna collect the toys and you'll see once we get inside that you immediately take the outside toys away. We're going to use the drop command that we learned earlier outside and he should drop the outside toys right in front of you and no longer playing with them. You're gonna immediately reward him for doing so because this is a really big deal. He played with these toys for about 30 minutes and he's gonna get some water. <laughs> as parched as he is, I'm sure. We're gonna put the outside toys away and again reward him with showing him that he can still play with his indoor toys. And there you have it, you guys. That's the best way to train your dog in a few easy steps. I can definitely teach you how to do the inside version of this if you would like um, after seeing it. Oh, I get a shake too. Oh, he's such a sweet dog, you guys. He's the best. Look at him. Oh, he's probably about to go take a nap. I think he's a little worn out from this hot weather today. But that's okay. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. <laughs> Bye, Raja!